How to use BitMessage. To set up BitMessage, visit their website and on the main page you should see a download link. Go ahead and click on Download. Once your file is downloaded, just run the bitmessage.exe file and you're set. The program does not install any desktop or start menu shortcuts, so just move the file to your desktop for easy access. Now that BitMessage is running, let's take a quick look at the features. First, we have the Inbox tab. Just like email, this is where your incoming messages will end up. Next, the Send tab, where you can compose a new message. Again, like with email, we enter in the recipient address, subject, and message body. The only real difference here is the address, which starts with the letters BM, followed by 34 random characters. It's going to be difficult to remember, so you'll have to get used to the address book to quickly copy the address over. The Sent tab is your sent message history. Your Identities is a very unique option that allows you to create an unlimited amount of new addresses to send and receive messages from. This is a great way to increase anonymity and privacy. For businesses, another use might be for organizational purposes. For example, if a customer makes a purchase, a new address could be randomly generated for that transaction and then any further customer questions could be sent to that address. The Subscriptions tab is where you can manage subscriptions to different people or newsletters who broadcast information. This is great because unlike email, you have a list of all your subscriptions and you can manage them very easily this way, rather than having to visit a website to unsubscribe. The address book is self-explanatory and the Blacklist tab is your easy way to manage who is allowed to send you messages. You can allow all messages except those on the Blacklist, or you can switch it to Whitelist and block all incoming messages except those on the Whitelist. The Network Status tab shows how many connections you have to other nodes. Also, it displays how long you've been running and how many messages and keys you've processed over that period. If you click the little colored indicator in the lower right corner, you can also learn about your connection status. If the indicator is red, then you aren't connected. That is the first thing to check if you're having difficulty sending or receiving messages.